A loan of $15,000 is taken out. Quarterly repayments of $410.65 are made. The interest rate is 4.7% compounded quarterly. Part A asks us to write a recurrence relation for this scenario and to use it to determine how much, prop, how much is owed after the second payment is made. So let's start by finding our recurrence relation. Well, we know that it is always V n plus 1 equals, and because this is a reducing balance loan, we need to consider our interest rate and we need to consider our payment. Every month, when we have a balance, we'll call it VN, there's interest that gets added on. That interest is a function of how much is in the account already, so we need to figure out what that common ratio is. As the interest rate is 4.7% per annum, compounded quarterly, we use 1 plus R, which is 4.7 over 4, over 100. That's my R. And then I have my D, the common difference. That is the quarterly repayment. That's how much I'm paying off every month. That's $410.65 every month, regardless of what was in the account at any other time. The other thing I need here is I need my V0. V0 is 15,000. Now to figure out the amount owed after two quarters, I'm going to use the sequence generator on the CAS. So I need my formula and notice that here we are using, or the CAS uses UN, not UN plus one. So we need to keep that in mind when we are writing our formula. Okay, so the formula here, the formula here is going to be the common ratio, which is 1 plus 4.7 over 4 over 100 times, and here we're using u n minus 1, which is the previous term in the sequence, or in the, in the sequence. and then we are taking away the common difference, which is $410.65. The initial term is 15000 That's how much the loan is originally for. We like to start at V0, and I want up to V2, so I'm going to make 2 my end max. Press OK, and we can see here that after two quarters, the amount in the account is fourteen thousand five hundred and twenty eight dollars and approximately forty five cents now we're going to look at part b which asks us how much is still owed after two years and after four years now we could continue to use our sequence generator and just generate more terms however i think it will be easier to use the finance solver so opening up our finance solver we can fill in the pertinent information here so a loan of $15,000, 15000 is our PV. And that is positive because it's a loan, it's money going into our pocket. The payment that's being made, that's negative 410 65 negative because the money is leaving our pocket, we're paying it to the bank. And it's quarterly, so both PPY and CPY are 4 We're looking for an interest, well, we have an interest rate here of 4.7%, and we're looking for the balance after two years, which is two years times four quarters, so that's eight. What I want to find is I want the future value. So still owed after two years is and one of the benefits of using the finance solver for this is it's then incredibly easy to figure out how much is owed after four years. All of the other parameters are going to stay the same, except for the number of payments. Rather than making eight, we're now making four payments for four years, so 16. 
the total amount that's still owed after four years, again, one simple calculation, is $10,900.26. Now I've moved on to Part C. Part C asks, how long will it take to repay the loan completely? Once again, in the Finance Solver, it's very easy to make these adjustments. Here we're looking for the loan to be paid off, so that means the future value is zero. So I'll set my future value to zero, and how long is the question? So, change my n, that's what I need to find out. How many payments will it take? Well, it will take 48 payments, or 12 years. The final part of this question is asking us how much interest is charged in total. Well, in order to figure that out, we need to know how much in total is actually being paid, including the original amount. So he is making a payment, or she is making a payment, of $410.65, and we know that it's going to be 48 times. So we multiply that by 48. That will give us our total amount that's being paid, and we know that $15,000 was the principal. So it's now just a matter of putting that into the CAS and calculating. So $410.65 multiplied by 48, take away $15,000 for the principal. The total amount of interest is $4,711.20. 4 